welcome to the CAD Corner. I'm your instructor for the day, Mr. Crooks. And today I'll be taking you through an activity in CAD where we will construct an equilateral triangle given a length of one side. So let's head on over to CAD where we will begin. So yes, we are going to construct an equilateral triangle given the length of one, one of the sides, which is 60 millimeters. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up your layers as you see them here. So we're using several lines. We're using a center line, construction, hidden, outline, and a text layer. Then you're going to select construction because we're going to use a, con a construction line. Then you're going to enable your Arthur, select line, click and drag, type 60 millimeters, enter to come out. Then we are going to be labeling our line. So we're going to use single line text. We're going to add the text at the end of this line right here, near the end point. But it will want to snap to the end point. So I'm going to disable object snap. I'm going to then also disable my Arthur. And then I'm going to click right here at the end of the line, near the end of the line rather. Then I'm going to add a text height of four millimeters. I'm going to add an angle of rotation of zero degrees. And then I'm going to enter the text capital A. Now notice my A is touching the line. All you have to do is select it, click at the hot point, move it, escape. But notice it's also on the wrong layer. So it is on the construction line layer now. So I'm going to move it to the text layer, hit escape. Then I'm going to select it again. Press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Move it to the other end paste it, double click it to edit it, press B, enter, escape. So there we have it, line AB, drawn in a horizontal position using the Arthur. So from here, I'm going to draw two arcs that are going to intersect. So we're going to use the arc tool, the three point arc tool. So then we're going to use the three point arc tool. You can use either three point or start in start center and end any one of those will work but i'm going to use a three point tool so when i activate the arc tool notice it says arc specify start point of the arc or center so i'm going to select the center because that's where i want to specify first and then i'm going to re-enable re my object snap then i'm going to go to the end point then go out to the end point the other end point and notice it is telling me that it is 60 millimeters i'm going to click then i'm going to drag up right i'm going to drag up so as long as you pass the halfway mark on the line because you're just eyeballing it pass halfway you can click then you're going to press enter Go back into the arc command. Remember that AutoCAD remembers the last command that you use. So you hit enter and then you go to point B. After selecting center, you go to point B. Go over to point A, which is the next end point. Click and then you drag up. But notice, what do you notice? The arc goes around because the arc tool always tries to draw arcs in a anti-clockwise manner so we want it to go clockwise so we're going to hit control and then the arc will be drawn the other direction you're going to click and that right there the intersection is the final point that we need to close our triangle so we're going to copy that by hitting control c control v we're going to move the point b and put it above the intersection of the two arcs. I'm going to disable my object snap again so, I, so that the letter does not snap to the intersection. I'm going to click 
I'm going to edit it, double click it. I'm going to type C for the name of the point, escape. I'm going to re enable my object snap. And then I'm going to change the layer and use an outline now to brighten the drawing. So I'm going to select the line tool. I'm going to click the intersection, go to point A, which is the end point, or another intersection, the intersection of the line and the arc. Then I'm going to go to point B, which is another intersection or another end point. And then I'm going to type C to close, enter to come out. And just like that, you would have completed the first exercise, how to construct an equilateral triangle given the length of one side, 60 millimeters. Thank you. Remember to comment if there is something that isn't clear. Remember to hit like on the video if you appreciate the content. And remember to comment. Comment and tell me, you know, if there's something that is going wrong or um, for some reason you are having difficulties. And I will try to get back to you and read the comment. All right? Thank you very much.